great game. Probably gonna crash in a minute. Anyway, uh, hey everybody, this is uh, Richard Care, Richard Care Reviews doing a quick, uh, I guess, update before I get to this week's uh, video. Uh, yes, I did, uh, started playing a couple hours, well in this case a couple of mm, double digit hours at this point, of uh, Cyberpunk 2027, 2077, and I'm gonna go out of the get all the stuff I said about the Giant Mnemonic review out of the way. Some of the elements in this game is a lot like it. Um, go to my review, uh, my previous review to explain that. Um, more to the point, let's get to the big elephant in the room when it comes to the Project Reds. Uh, now problem child of a release date, and now getting pulled from stores, and honestly, I'm happy that I bought physical. Something told me I had to do it like that, and another reason this is probably going to run better on a PS5, but that's another console cycle generation for another time, that all being said. Um, I'll go a bigger deep dive once I get a full experience of what I've seen so far of the game. Uh, it'll probably be a brief editorial because, like, apparently a lot of reviewers, they didn't have time to finish the actual main campaign, which is actually not bad. And there was a lot of good side quests that could stack up some eddies and stuff like that. Um... Also, uh, I don't really know what else to say. Like, there are a lot of people who, in the game uh, gaming community, has already said their piece about it. Like, they're not mad, they're just disappointed, and turns out that's getting a lot crazier with the trust issue. So, that aside, um, I highly recommend um, Inside uh, Gaming. They did a quick uh, podcast about the whole situation before it stacked up even more so uh, by the end of this week. So, um, that's all I have to say there. Um... I'll leave any news regarding if the patches are actually going to have help in last gen along with PS5 and other, you know, uh, current gen consoles like Freddy X, uh, Xbox uh, One and uh, Series X. Because I think those run... No, I think Series X is better. I have to go to my brother who's a real uh, Xbox expert, expert on that. So, uh, this is now the real review portion of A Christmas Gift from XLR. Um, by the way, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, go to his uh, channel, and I think uh, I'll see if I can leave a, a Discord link down below if you guys want to take a look. Um, to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the alternator. Um, I kind of was about to write this off as like a weird gimmicky blaster, but the crux of this blaster has some potential. Um, starting off at the front, um, you basically have your three, uh, I guess, barrel setups. You get your single for uh, the fire strike guy in your, in your house, myself included. I'm a fire strike guy. Uh, you got your double shot here for, uh, I think people who have been used to shot getting a uh, blaster type of this, uh, throughout the year. Um, quick history on this particular blaster. This came out at the beginning of the year, before Hasbro just basically had no idea or any quality control with, uh, the Elite 2.0 series and Ultra like usual. So I'm gonna judge it on just what they were doing here on the, on the, uh, Zombie Strike line. And, uh, last bit of nerf news, I'm very much aware of how they pretty much downgraded the long shot and for that i hope they don't do the same thing when they inevitably do the maverick icon series because let's be honest nerf you're chicken and you know you want to do it keeping the censored version of what i always say aside let's get back to the blaster uh the final barrel here is going to be yet again another shotgun attempt burst on a three wave uh wave a shotgun's uh two three ways single shot is your normal single shot and I'm, for purposes of this review, I'm not going to do elites, because it's elites, it's going to be like that. Uh, I'm going to go with my Avenger Force rounds. Uh, I'm going to load up just the first couple, just to get an idea. Uh, range test-wise, there's not really nothing special about it. I'm pretty sure it's going to hit high 50s, low 60s on, I guess, these two barrels. I'm hoping for, like, a decent mid-70s range um, on the first shot here. Spiral low, but again, consistency is not much. All of these still have their ARs intact, no, and their stock spring, which I'm gonna have to figure out which is which. Um, mob potential is kind of high, ironically. Like, I can see this work in a war in an HPZ round where you basically have a, a cluster of uh, uh, zombies coming in. You have like a decent shotgun spread here. Works out pretty well, not bad, not, honestly. And the cool part is <laughs> it gravity drops back to your first barrel. And I think if I could do this right, because I think Drag tried doing this in his video too. So, card two. 
it, it's really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, like, so, again, again, um, to prove that this is also a smart AR blaster, uh, unmodded. So, pretty much like that. Also, I don't think it's really gonna help much when you single barrel both of these barrels, because, again, it's a shotgun spread, so... I'm almost assuming it doesn't have a traditional smart AR, so best gets it as a regular AR, which actually would definitely help uh, modifying this immensely. Um, I don't know much about the internals of this blaster. If you know any, um, like, Reddit links or anything like that, please let me know down in the description down below. Um, I'm gonna hit this off to Walcom's Discord, see if anyone tinkered with this, uh, throughout the course of the year. Um, this is a gift from, um, XLR. Again, I want to keep uh, specifying that. Um, but I think the price range for this was around 10 or $15, and it's not bad. It's a cute little, if you have to, like, scrap and, like, make a quick, uh, primary in an indoor war, uh, this would take the cake. It's got multiple blasting modes, and if I could replicate that last shot one more time when it comes to, uh, okay. And I think, um, Drac was saying that the, it was going to be a little hard to, like, if... Like, if the darts were, like, in a gravity out, if you did this and this. Tested it a couple times during my runs around the house. It's pretty good, so let's go to our first shots. And then... <laughs> it's it, it's more the way how you play it kind of vibe, and how I've been kind of seeing it as, like, a really strong, like, not even a good primary. Uh, if you had to use this in a war, I would, t I would totally recommend this as, as like, a gimmicky but not bad uh secondary so uh don't know what's going on with my family right now so uh, i'm gonna wrap this up right here uh just again this whole video was to mainly be about this and the cd project red news so that all being said speaking of uh, cyberpunk uh go to my previous video here for my giant mnemonic review forever been reviewed uh reviews this year uh previous video also here uh i think it was mostly news uh this and uh, soon to be this this coming week as well because everything's wrapping up for the end of the year uh hoodie here for my channel as for as per usual notification down below for future nerf related uh videos because i'm gonna need to build a new loadout for the real nerf red hood and finally pin down anybody as a real nerf green lantern oh who are we kidding it's gonna be a guy or in my particular case uh kyle hopefully so yeah, like I said to XLR, thank you again for this awesome early Christmas present. This is really awesome, a great review, and honestly, it's a very functional uh, secondary if you know what you're doing in the modding scene. Um, as far as uh, mod recommendations, um, probably go with like a basic um, Firestrike Spring. Don't full K26 it as much as as tempting as it is. Um, maybe an 8K or 10K Spring might work with just fine. Breast definitely for the first barrel. I don't know what to do with the rest here. Maybe Petchy barrels, but. Again, I could be all day talking about mods here, but that all being said, I am Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews. Happy Holidays for, if this is my only video this week coming up, uh, happy 2021 and hopefully less crappy and or crazy than this one ever was. So with that all being said, take care, subscribe, and since this is probably going to be my last video of the year, again, depending which news comes out first uh, for next week, uh, happy Holidays, uh, Happy New Year, hopefully, and uh, wear a damn mask because COVID's not over yet. Just because vaccine's here doesn't mean it's over just yet. Anyway, uh, warnings aside, as per usual, take care and for real, be safe, have fun, and actually, not bad blaster when you look at it.